Fair Game Bacon Bits Beautiful People. Did I not tell you? It pays to be Just Curious. You know me, your girl, Poet Taylor. Just Curious Life TV Live. Flight Baltimore. I promised you that we would talk to the myth, the man, the wonder, the chef, the cleaner, the baker, the candlestick maker. He's Ray, I call him Ziggy. He'll tell you all about that name change in a minute, but he is owner, operator, CEO. You like the H&IC here. I'll do what I can. Okay, for those who aren't aware of who you are, why don't we introduce you real quick before I dig into all your personal business. Okay, I'm Ray, some people call me Ziggy. Uh, the chef, the owner, the operator here, as she pointed out, uh, at Flight Baltimore. I'm here at 5723 York Road. Um, yes, let's get started. So first, I'm gonna start with failure. I like to talk about obstacles because people are probably gonna look at you. We're not gonna even get to how old he is yet. That's gonna be like, bam! Like the gravy to the steak, however you wanna put that. You, this is your third restaurant. This is technically my third restaurant. Um, I've had two other concepts that I tried. Um, here at Flight, this is permanent. This is my baby. This is my new baby. Um, and it's happening here. So for an entrepreneur, what makes you say I'm gonna get up and try again after you didn't fare so well the first two times? Um, as an entrepreneur, I guess you gotta have that drive and you gotta make it work. And it has to happen. Like, you know, it's either, you gotta work. So hey. you work for yourself or you work for someone else. And I would rather work for myself and I enjoy it. If I'm gonna do it, I might as well do it for myself. Okay, so let's talk about your first two tries. What were the restaurants, what were the things, and why do you think they failed? Um, or didn't do as well as you expected? Failed seems like such a bad word, bad. No, it's not so much that they failed, or they did not fail, they just weren't as successful as I needed to be. Okay. So, you know, the first concept was more of a club concept. You know, I was a managing partner at a club. Um, the second concept, I had another restaurant here in Baltimore. Um, it wasn't so much that it failed, it just wasn't where I needed to be. Um, and I opened this restaurant to be better. Okay, so flight, why flight? Is it like a trip in my mouth? Um, I woke up one morning um, after going to sleep one night. And I hope so, I was, <laughs> that's always a was, plus. I woke up with it on my mind and this is how I made it happen. Um, I had a vision and it's coming to the light. I love the concept. I love the sound of it. I'm about to take flight into my meal and Lord knows when I'm eating alone, that's exactly what I do. It is the trip. Um, I'm learning from seeing your menu that you don't just cater to one set of people. I finally figured out how the fusion rolls into the title of your restaurant. There's a little bit of something for everybody if you like meat, if you don't like meat, if you're a veggie lover, really, broccoli bites? Hmm, very slick, my man, but I enjoy it. Is there anything that came to mind when you sat down to prepare your menu? Did you have all of that in mind? Like, I wanna try to get as many people covered as possible, or did you learn from your previous adventures in the restaurant field that having one thing doesn't necessarily work because it kinda? Well, I've been in the restaurant business and restaurants, hotels, retail, and things like that for over 10 years. So, you know, in today's society, there are a lot of different people doing a lot of different things. People are doing different diets and there are different types of people. Okay. I designed this restaurant to have something for everybody and nice. to have those groups. I know I have a lot of different kinds of friends who are from different places or who are doing different things. Okay. And in my experience, it has been hard to go into places where everybody can have something to eat versus, you know, you have those friends who don't eat meat or have different diets, you know, I'm gluten free or I'm doing different things like this and it's like, we go somewhere and it's like, oh, well, I'm just gonna have a side of breakfast. Cause that's all they have that I can eat. That's sad. But when you go into a place and everybody can have a meal and everybody can have that experience and everybody can have a good time and be satisfied, that's the type of experience that I wanna have at play. And so far, that's the experience that I've had. I've talked to some of the people eating today. They're talking about flavors and concepts and the way that you merge certain items. So let's get into that. The Salmon Mojo seems to be on a lot of tables right <laughs> now. And I won't ask the secret family history of it, but tell me about this dish and how it made it to the menu, because it is amazeballs. That's a word I have copywritten, so don't try to use it on your own. Mm. Thank you. Um, the Salmon Mojo was actually a, a, a 
the, the, the whole mojo concept is what we do here at Flight. Um, it came from a friend of mine who had an idea. He said, this is what I want, um, Mr. Mojo, um, Jomo. He said, this is what I want, this is what I need. So at, at my other restaurant, um, he came in, he said, this is what I want. I want, I need you to make this for me. This is the idea I had. And I brought it to the light and we went with it. And from the original Salmon Mojo, we went places with it and, and expanded it into other mojos. Um, the Darlene's Veggie Mojo, um, the newest one, which is actually the, uh, the Jumbo Shrimp Mojo. You know, it just evolved into different things. And coming soon, the Poet Taylor Bacon Mojo. You know why? Because everything's better with bacon. Beef bacon. So let's talk about how Ziggy started catering and cooking at the tender age of 15. Do you remember the first thing that you ever burnt? Not necessarily the first thing you ever cooked and succeeded with, but the first thing you ever burnt and still tried to serve people. Not that I've ever done that. I honestly don't remember, but as chefs will probably tell you that we've burnt plenty. Um, some things you forget about, you get busy, but it happens. On a more serious note, not only do you take care of the spirit, soul, and stomach inside your restaurant, you actually give back to your community through a foundation that's very important to you. So let's discuss that a little bit. I mean, I do a lot of different things in the community. I try to participate with um, a lot of different organizations just to do what I can. You know, I believe that, you know, I'm nothing if I can't give back. So, you know, I do a lot of different things. I hire, you know, at risk youth. I bring in different people to do, you know, a lot of different things around the community. Um, as well as my nonprofit, um, you know, I just do what I can to help out the next person. You know, you never know what somebody else is going through and, and how you can help somebody, even inadvertently. So, you know, it's the small things that we do just to help other people. I That's love you. Question. I love your food more, but I love you. If you want to know more about his nonprofit, that is the Fred Jones Foundation. Yeah, the Fred Jones Foundation. We do nice. a lot of different things. And if people want more info on you, especially for your community outreach efforts, where can they go or where can they email you? Um, they can email me at flight, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, ray at flightbaltimore.com or flightbaltimore.com is the website. And of course, because we are a social media network in world, are you on social media? Yes. You can find us <laughs> on social media pretty much everywhere, uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Flight Baltimore. You heard it here first. You know it pays to be just curious. I am Poet Taylor. This is Just Curious Life TV. And the reason why I picked Flight Baltimore, for those of you who don't know, it's nothing like celebrating your own. We are all locally grown from somewhere. So the next time before you post about a restaurant you ain't never been to in Vegas, come through, DMV. Stop by, world. Flight Baltimore, right here, York Road. More to come. Just Curious Life TV. Your girl, Poet Taylor, in Ziggy. Ray, not sure which one he wants me to call him. I'm gonna call you King Chef. Let's go cook something. That's me, let him eat. Ow. Beer gang, bacon bits, beautiful people. Just Curious Life TV Live, Flight Baltimore. Now we are where the magic happens. I'd like to introduce you once again to Ziggy, owner, operator, and I keep calling him Little Michael E. Lake, that's not his name. This is Chef Christopher who are gonna walk us through. My stomach is just like, bam, to tam, 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 tam. Salmon quesadillas? Did you hear that on my lips? Salmon quesadillas. This is a taste of what you get when you come to Flight Baltimore and get your grub on. So I'm going to let them do what they do so we can eat. That's what I really want to get to. So take it away, fellas. Let us know how you work. My name is Chris. I'm a chef here at Flight Baltimore Fusion Restaurant. Today we have uh, salmon quesadilla. So I'm going to start off with the salmon. A little olive oil here, sir.
Oh, really there's good. some things that I can already see. Mentally, I'm preparing a list. I'm gonna make some of this and put it on some bacon at night. Watch what it is. Watch what it is. The salmon in there is well done, you know, just because most, just, you know, when you use that salmon in there, you gotta get it cooked. You do serve the salmon regularly, like the grilled salmon, it's served medium well. Now this cheese blend, is it something special that you also whipped up? Yes. Some kind of cheese, oh, everything with cheese. Everything with cheese. You can't give it all away? Yeah. Not for free. Ah, I like that answer too. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Wrap the salmon. Tomatoes on the side. Something else special you mean? Sour cream and sour cream. Oh, okay. I just want it. I just want it. Yeah. Mm -mm. This is the uh, cooking ready to go. Ready to serve it up so we can let the people eat. Top it off with a little sour cream. And here you have the salmon quesadilla here at Flight Baltimore with Chef Chris and myself, Chef Ziggy. Let them eat.